Joey Logano's gamble in Sunday's NASCAR Cup race at Nashville Super Speedway paid out big time, a ticket to the 2024 playoffs. But it might have also backfired spectacularly, so was it worthwhile? And a better question, was it even legal? Fans have been going insane on social media asking for more details and investigations into the number 22 car. After all, Logano got caught earlier this year in the cheating glove scandal, so maybe his team invented something new again? Nevertheless, stretching the gasoline in Logano's number 22 Penske Ford over 110 laps, including five overtimes totaling 31 laps, appears to be the correct move right now. After all, after the victory, the two-time champion is now in the playoffs, with a chance of claiming a third series championship. With the way his 2024 season began, that was far from guaranteed. Logano was in the same position as many other top 10 drivers when a yellow was issued with one of the race's 300 laps left, kicking off the series of overtimes. When making their final stop for gasoline, several teams had prepared for one or two overtime periods. But five? No cup race has ever lasted more than three. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, Martin Truex Jr., and Chase Briscoe were among the top contenders who fell by the wayside after running out of gas or having to pit for fuel. Logano, however, continued on. It appeared to be an impossible position for a team without a win and just above the cutoff line in points to enter the playoff field. Go for the needed win or run out of gasoline and maybe lose a large amount of points. That was to me a ginormous risk because, I mean, you pit and you go back out and you maybe can finish in the top 15 versus going for the win, but you can maybe finish 35th. Makes it a pretty hard call, Logano said. But gosh, when you're winning the race, how do you not? Especially when you see the other cars that were up there. Chase Briscoe, he wins, and that wouldn't have been good for our playoff hopes. When you think about who we were racing against, we needed to make sure that we were able to at least stay on the strategy the same as they were. The data show Logano's crew chief, Paul Wolf, trimmed it as tight as possible, as seen by Logano racing the final lap with his fuel light on and his car sputtering at moments. Logano drove 110 laps, 69 under green flag circumstances and 51 under caution, which greatly aided his case. Three caution laps are about similar to one regular lap in terms of fuel usage. That implies the caution laps are almost equivalent to 17 green flag laps. If you add 69 and 17, you get 86 laps. The predicted fuel window for Sunday's race was around 80 laps. When Logano shuts off his engine under warning, you can see how he made it through. Still, if making the playoffs was the most crucial goal, Wolf may have had few options. I think for myself and one of my engineers, it has kind of been the mindset that, hey, we're going to have to win a race. As much as you want to say you can point your way in, that's great, but I think personally, we've been in the mindset we need to win. Wolf explained. Logano's Penske colleagues, Ryan Blaney and Austin Sindrick, had both won races in the previous month, but the number 22's performance was still below Wolf's expectations, and he realized his chances of winning were dwindling. I feel like we've been making some progress. I'm optimistic that we've been working in the right direction, he said. I knew that three races coming up, Iowa, Gateway, Loudoun, I told Joey those were going to be our opportunities to win a race. Obviously, we weren't able to do it. Our teammates were, which was good for the company, but we still weren't in a good spot. That may have made the choice to press the gasoline problem a little easier. We just got to a point where I was like, well, we've got guys around us that were racing for the win to get into the playoffs too, and at this point we've come this far, let's just stick with it. Even though everything showed that we were probably going to ran out somewhere on that last lap, Wolf said. I felt it was worth the gamble at that point. It sure was this time. But right after Logano crossed the finish line first in a three-way duel with 2311 racing driver Tyler Reddick and Spire Motorsports rookie Zane Smith, earning his first win of the season. He then conducted a celebratory burnout, which was posted to NASCAR's X account. Fans responded to the post, with multiple calling on NASCAR to investigate Logano's fuel tank. Inspect that fuel tank now! Several others believed Logano's car didn't have enough gasoline to complete the burnout. No way, that tank is illegal. They need to check that fuel tank. Also, how did he have enough to do burnouts? A fan said. Cheating. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Another added. I'm sorry, but no way he should have had fuel left. Another fan wrote. What do you think? Was there something fishy going on with Logano's fuel? However, probably anticipating the online questioning, Logano revealed to media after the race how he won without running out of gasoline in the five overtime race. I thought, okay, I was in good shape going to take the white off of four, and then they threw the caution," Logano said. I still don't know what the caution was for, 
then we had to do it again. Had to not only do the fuel mileage piece of it, but also you had Tyler Reddick with tires there at the end, and he was able to make some pretty big moves, and going down the backstretch it started stumbling. I was like oh no. Was able to throw a nice block on him, but even off of 4, it stumbled and stumbled, and then it kind of got like a quick little bit of gas I guess, and it kind of gave me a little squirt and then started stumbling again across the line and just couldn't get to the line quick enough. If that start finish line was into 1, we don't win the race, we finish 3rd or 4th, definitely as close as you can cut it for sure. Logano was then asked about completing 110 laps on a single tank of petrol. I don't know, like I said, it takes a little bit of everything, he explained. I think that's really what it was. There was obviously a lot of cautions within that period, a lot of cautions. Like I said we didn't feel comfortable about it, but you go for it, and it's pretty risky when you think about where we were in the playoff grid. You really can't afford to have a bad one, but gosh, it's really hard to pit when you're in the lead and you're in position to win the race. While speaking with media following the race, the two-time Cup Series champion was questioned about the several overtimes and if NASCAR should change the regulation again. I mean, it obviously got pretty. Anytime you have your cars running out of gas, there's a caution and you get going. They wreck because everyone is out of gas and all that. You're refiring on old tires, everyone is sliding around. Gosh, you kind of can see it coming a little bit, Logano told the crowd. But gosh, I don't know what you... I think you just keep doing it. I don't know, that's the rule. You keep doing it. Despite five overtimes and nearly running out of petrol, Logano won the race to secure a position in this year's Cup Series playoffs. The 34-year-old has raced in several Cup Series races in his career, but he has never had a finish like his on Sunday. Not that comes to mind. Nothing that comes to mind that was like that, Logano told reporters. Yeah, like I said, just a big one. Something that's cool too, is the last eight weekends, Team Penske has put a car in victory lane across all the series that they race. We were the only ones that could do it this weekend because we were the only ones running. It was close, but it was cool to keep that streak alive for everyone at the race shop. Logano and Team Penske took a chance and drove 110 laps on their final tank of gasoline. When asked how he managed to win despite the gas condition, Logano was unsure. It takes a little bit of everything, he said. I think that's really what it was. There was obviously a lot of cautions within that period. A lot of cautions. Like I said, we didn't feel comfortable about it, but you go for it. And it's pretty risky when you think about where we were in the playoff grid. You really can't afford to have a bad one. But gosh. It's really hard to pit when you're in the lead and you're in position to win the race. You just go for it and cross your fingers, say a couple prayers, and it worked out alright. Joey Logano's win earned him a playoff berth, becoming him the final Penske driver to do so. He has led 225 laps this season, and has 3 top 5 S and 6 top 10 S. His next event is scheduled on July 7th at the Chicago Road Course. What do you think? Foul play? Cheating? Or just a lucky strategy played out to perfection? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.